Hello everyone. So, there's a lot of you people who are buying the stuff that I use in my MTW, and a lot of you have been telling me, I cannot make the Umbrella Army Aha Barrel fit with the Bucking M4W Max Hop-Up Unit. So, today I'm going to show you how to fit it in this Hop-Up Unit with this, with the Umbrella Army set. First, I would like to show the buckings you get. You get a Mad Bull Blue Bucking, which is this. Um, that's how it looks normally. I have cut mine, as you can see here, and this is a normal. I've cut off just a tiny bit. If you ask me how much, enough. So now you want to clean the barrel. Oop, clean it, make sure it's completely clean. Don't be too rough with the patch, the Aha patch that Umbrella Army has installed. Then you have the barking, put in the barking the right way. Boom. As it's supposed to go, you know how barking is supposed to be put on. Make sure when you see it installed, make sure this is all the way in, so it's not bent over. You don't want it to be bent over. You can see this, like the, the feeding lips, you don't want them to be bending over or be uneven. So make sure they're correct, correctly installed. Also, when you put the bucking on, you want to make sure to not put any gunk or any loop, any silicone spray or anything on the barrel itself, because that's not good, because it's a very soft bucking. So when you're going to try to get into this, you're going to break the bucking. Now, you want to put some loop on the bucking itself, or whatever you call it, I don't care. Tech self, gun self, put the loop or whatever silicone on the bucking. It doesn't matter if you put it on the bucking since it's never gonna be, it's never gonna touch what's inside of the barrel. So it's never gonna touch the BBs. Now, when you need to get this on, this has a very tight tolerance and some of you know, make sure the knob is all the way out so you don't break anything. And you always know as a guide, Make sure to install the bucking correctly. You see, I push. Now since there's gun salve on it, you see some of you say you cannot install it. Boom. Easy. I literally push it right on. Some of you say it's impossible to get on, but if you put tech salve on it, it literally goes right on. Now make sure it's installed correctly on both sides. You want to make sure the holes are aligned correctly and the bottom is aligned correctly. Then you want to make sure the, the thing clicks in. Boom, clicked in. You heard it yourself. You have the ring to lock it. There we go. You have the small O ring. Lock it. Boom, installed. Piss easy. I have removed the. Uh, there's like a little spring here, usually, normally. Most people shouldn't remove that, but I've removed it from mine because I've installed a different outer barrel. So just keep your spring on. Then, you've already taken apart your MTW. Remember, I use the spring still. The spring works best for me. Umbrella Army tells you use a lot of O-rings, but that's for the own builds. So, if you have the MTW, you can choose between the O-ring or the or a spring. If your magazines are not feeding properly, maybe use O-rings instead of a spring. So, or vice versa. Anyways, you put the barrel in. Just normal, push it in, MTW. Push it in all the way. You see, it goes in and out easy. Nice. You put in the engine. You push in the hover unit, so it's push the right position. Uh, you put in the hub unit and everything it is, then you get ready for the feed tube. I, I have to forge most MTWs come with this new feed tube now. Just push in. Make sure it's pushed in correctly. There we go. Easy, so you don't break anything. You don't, you don't want to keep pushing it. If you're pushing really hard, you're going to break something, so don't. So if it doesn't get in like this, easy, like you just saw now, it means it's not installed correctly. Okay? Now... We do this, we have the, um, the air hose. You can push it to the side, then push in the tip. That sounds wrong. Push in the tip, make sure you don't break the, the hose. Then you have the yoke, the contact yoke. Push it in, pull this back. Make sure again, everything is installed correctly. Don't just press, be safe when you do it. Don't break anything. Then we want to install the contact yoke in here now. Then you want to put them to W together. It fits. Of 
also feeds on full auto. So now we have this awesome NTW installed with Umbrella Armory Hop, which Max M4W hop up. And um, there's a lot of people out there saying there's better setups. I mean, sure, if you want to try other setups, you can go for it. But if I was you and you want the same performance that I have in my videos, buy an Umbrella Armory Hop barrel, use the code CASLAB. And you know what I get for it? Nothing, but you get free shipping or something like that. I told Umbrella Armory, since they're not giving me anything to promote this stuff, then uh, maybe at least they can give you guys some free shipping. And they're like, yep, let's do it. So um, that's how you get probably one of the best MTWs in the world. Umbrella Armory out with Max Hop Up. So great success. Don't forget to leave a like, write a comment, and uh, subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, join my freaking Discord because we have a lot of fun. I love you.